the Bills, Rickies, Jimmies, and Frankies of the world are like Marmite. You either love them or you hate them. Hey guys, it's Amanda. I watched Bill Burr months ago, and since then, I've been getting comments to watch more. So that's what we're going to do today. And this time, it's going to be watching his jokes that will get him canceled in 10 seconds. And knowing what I know about Bill, we are in for a treat. So hold on to your seat. And if you haven't already, head over to my Instagram at UK and give me a follow. I'm always posting about my life, whether it's gym videos, photo shoots that I've done, or what I've had for breakfast. So let's connect on there. I try to respond to all of my messages and comments. I'll just name different people you see and see the slides that come into your head, right? <laughs> Construction worker, sports fan, painter, skateboarder, lesbian. <laughs> right? It all goes blank. <laughs> uh, 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 is that a lesbian? I mean, I have gay friends, but I've never noticed any sort of a through line. <laughs> Listen, people, I'm not saying all lesbians look alike. I would never say some ignorant shit like that. However, I am saying, though, every once in a while, there's a fucking layup. Flat top, wallet chain, fucking walking up the street. Right? But even then, even then, I'm not saying 100%, but gun to my head, I gotta go lesbian. Gotta go lesbian. Final answer, final answer, show me lesbian. I'm not hurting anybody, think about it. You eat a cheeseburger, that's protein. That's good for your muscles, right? And I don't know about you guys, but after I rub one out, I'm more relaxed. I'm less likely to lash out at my fellow man. I'm in a great space mentally. I think they just, they just make it all up. But it's weird though, because I'm kind of feeling this thing, because I haven't been in church in a while. I'm kind of feeling like, you know, I want to go back, but I need a new religion, man. That's why I'm kind of between religions right now. You know, like I used to be Catholic, but you know, I can't be Catholic anymore, you know? I mean, once they started fucking the kids, I was just like, all right, dude, you know what? I'm out, okay? You guys party way too fucking hard for me, okay? I didn't see that page in the book. I don't know what you guys are doing. I can't believe they're still in business. People are still showing up. Name one other business that could survive that shit. You think if they were fucking kids at Walmart, they could sell rakes the next day? And just try to play it off like, yeah, we had a little problem in aisle eight, but you know, we got some slacks over here. We got kitchen appliances. We got some hula hoops. Now look, I know you're not supposed to make fun of fat people. I understand, all right? I don't know why though. <laughs> why? They're not a race. They're not a religion. It's totally curable. Eat an apple and go for a walk. You know? Why are you yelling at everybody else? The fuck are you giving me shit for? All right, you put the cookies in there. I didn't. How is this my problem? Jesus Christ, you ate your way in, you can walk your way out. All right, and just slowly start shedding the pounds. Shove some fucking lettuce in there instead of a bunch of ho-hos and it's, it's gonna come down and then you're on my side of the fence, right? Join me, come on, say it with me. Shame, shame, <laughs> right? This might be the most arrogant thing I say all night, but I actually resent the fact that I'm gonna get judged someday. Like, if that's true, that somebody's gonna judge me, like, it doesn't even make any sense. It's like, dude, you made me, so this is your fuck up, all right? Let's, let's not try to turn this around on me, you know? You give me freedom of choice, you make whores, you have me suck at math, and you don't think this thing's gonna go off the rails? You set me up to fail, and now you got the balls to now question your own goddamn work. Dude, if I made a car, if I built a car and it didn't run, I wouldn't like burn it forever. You evil piece of shit, light it on fire. I wouldn't, I would troubleshoot. Is there gas in the engine? Is the battery charged? Anything beyond this, I gotta get a real man to look at it. But I believe in you. I'm gonna try and help you out. Let's have a little empathy here. Put yourself in a lesbian's shoes. Who do lesbians date? Women. Who do they do? Who do, who do they do? They move in with women. Who do they get in relationships with? Women. Who do they eventually marry? Women. And I was thinking like, oh my God, I did that. I know what it's like to live with one of those fucking things. <laughs> I know exactly what this is. It's hopeless. Trying to make them happy. Hey, I bought you the shiny thing. Did I do it right? Huh? Trying 
gonna get them to take responsibility for their actions. Not gonna happen. The best you're gonna get is I'm sorry, but I know what it's like to be winning a fucking argument. You're winning, you're winning, you're winning, and then they turn it around. They're crying. You're apologizing. You're thinking, what the fuck just happened? How am I losing this shit? I had you on the ropes. You feel so dumb. You gotta go for a walk, and you're just thinking, how did I lose again? And then you figure it out. It makes you feel stupid, and then you see some bald idiot with a giant orange mustache. You're like, you know what? Why don't you take some of that shit? I gotta tell you, the way white women somehow hijack the woke movement, generals around the world should be analyzing this. The woke movement was supposed to be about people of color, and it was about that for about eight seconds. And then somehow, white women swung their Gucci booted feet over the fence of oppression and stuck themselves at the front of the line. My name is so hard with my SUV in my heated seats. You have no idea what it's like to be me. <laughs> Trash and white guys, the nerve. Where's the camera? The nerve of you white women. You guys stood by us toxic white males through centuries of our crimes against humanity. And occasionally when you wanted to sneak off and hook up with a black dude, if you got caught, you said it wasn't consensual. Yeah, that's what you did. So why don't you shut up, sit down next to me, and take your talking to. So I sit down, and I'm watching this documentary as a white dude, which is what I am. I'm looking out my white head, watching this white shit. It's coming back into my white eyes, getting whiter by the fucking second. All right? Now, my wife, on the other hand, she's black, right? Now, I hate saying that, because it makes it seem like I'm going to start doing some stupid comparison jokes. You know those dumb white guy, black guy jokes? And you know, it's always like the white guy's like, oh, Jesus, I gotta, I gotta do my taxes. Can this chair hold me? And the black guy's always like, you need to loosen up. You gotta relax, man. You just gotta let it happen. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's always the same stupid fucking joke. I hate those jokes, you know, because they're easy. And it's been my experience that it's just not true. You know, 15 years of being with her, there's really no difference. You know, because at the end of the day, it's a woman. <laughs> All right. Cuando oí tu voz, supe que había encontrado el amor de mi corazón. Las palabras se me incendian en los labios. Los nombres me pesan en los dedos. Cada vez que trago el amor. So now it's like I'm in this weird place where. I'm not in any religion right now. Unrestricted free agent. You know? <laughs> I'd like to believe in something, so I've been going around asking people what this shit is, and I haven't been able to find anything. I'm trying to be open-minded. I was doing a gig in Helsinki, and uh, over there, they're like Lutheran. And what they believe, they believe when you die, you're dead. And that's it. Dead. Like, like a pigeon, just, just laying there, over. Blew my mind. I'm like, really? You're just dead like this? You don't... Like my religion was, you know, you, you die and then you go up to get judged, right? God pops in the DVD of your life. Oh, I don't know about this right here. <laughs> mind explaining yourself? Actually, I had this black dude moved in my building, man. Lives on the same floor as me. He's one of these dudes. Every time he's, he's hilarious. Every time he says some shit, right after he's done saying this, he repeats like the most important part of like the previous sentence. It's hilarious. Everything he said will be like, yo, my man came in. He put that on the table. Put it on the table! <laughs> Yo, this country's at war, son. War! I'm just looking at my friend like, dude, did you hear him the first time? Because I, I heard him the first time. I was smiling, I was nodding. Actually, I got a couple of uh, friends of uh, African persuasion. I gotta get rid of them, man. I gotta admit to you. I'm fine, I'm spending too much money on clothes hanging out with them. It's like every time they go out, they got all brand new shit on. So when I show up with my white version of brand new, which is, you know, I basically, I iron the shit, right? I ironed it, right? It's new. They just start trashing me. And I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is. They got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat. It's like a rule or something. Because God forbid you wear the same shirt within a 10-day period. One of them's going to notice. All of a sudden, just look at you funny like, this motherfucker's got the same shit he had on last Tuesday. It's the last thing they cured. Do you know what fake legs look like when I was a kid? Huh? First of all, there was only one color. It was like band-aid color, and everybody knew you had a fake leg, and you're fucking walking down the street, and you're like, oh, you've got a fake leg. What do you think happened? Motorcycle accident. 
fell down a flight of stairs, got impatient with a wood chipper, right? Everybody knew you had a fake leg. Now, if you have fake legs, you're not allowed to compete with people with real legs in the Olympics because not having legs is now more of an advantage than having real legs. <laughs> Doctors make better legs than God. All right, your calves and your feet flopping around are no match for a couple of sickles. These people just skiing down the fucking street. You gotta buy some train tracks that go downhill, you're never gonna see them again. I saw a woman a couple months back, professional soccer player, right? She goes on to ESPN or one of these sports channels and she starts bitching, going like, I don't understand, how come female athletes don't make as much as male professional athletes, right? And all of these men had to sit there and act like they didn't know what the answer was. They had to sit there like dumbfounded, like, oh, uh, I don't know, uh, why is that? Uh, I'm sitting at home screaming at the TV because you don't sell any fucking tickets! Nobody is going to women's soccer games! You're playing in a 20,000 seat arena. 1,500 people show up. That's not a good night! The promoter lost his fucking ass on that gig. I'm not saying no professional female athletes, Serena Williams, the women in the UFC, you know? But nobody's watching your fucking sport. And then you're gonna come and you're gonna get mad at fucking men. They keep doing that shit. Why are you yelling at us? Oh, I'm not even sure what to say after that, except I love him. He makes me laugh until I cry. I can't even tell you how many times I snored in that video. There's just something about the brutal honesty that you get with Bill that it just can't be reckoned with. Does he go way beyond what most comedians will joke about? Yep. Does he use choice language? Yep. But that's what makes him great, in my opinion. He takes Kurt... Current? Current. <laughs> was a good one. <laughs> Serious topics and puts his own spin on it. And he does speak a lot of truth. I know he says it in jest, but I just think if someone has the ability to shock you and make you laugh all in a few words, then they are pretty spectacular. And I'm aware many people don't like his sort of comedy. The Bills, Rickies, Jimmys, and Frankies of the world are like Marmite. You either love them or you hate them. Most people don't enjoy their comedy because they don't want to be seen or appear like they agree or support what's being said. When in reality, it's just comedy. Like, just sit back and enjoy it. Take it for what it is. It's entertainment. Not everything needs to be turned into a woke issue, but there we are. It's the world we live in. But I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button if that's what you're into, and I'll see you in the next video.